Hello and welcome to HP Calx. Rick here, and today we're going to have a look at the Casio FX300 ES Plus calculator and how to solve trig functions on it. To do this, we'll be using the sine, cos, and tan keys, look like this, located here, as well as the shift key that looks like this, located up here in the top left, and the x to the power of minus 1, or inverse key, looks like this, located here. Now, all examples we'll be doing, we'll be using degrees. So, first thing we want to do is set our calculator to degrees mode, and we can tell it's in degrees mode if we see a D up here on the top of the screen. If you see, if you see something else, we need to change that. So, to change it, we press Shift Mode, which brings up this menu here. It can be either in degrees, grades, or rad mode. We want it in degrees mode, so we press 3, and now there should be that D in the top there. Alright, so starting off with the basics, if we want to find the sine of 30 degrees, we press sine 30, and press equals, and we see we get 1 over 2, which we can convert to decimals if we want by pressing this S to D key here. There we go. Sine of 30 equals 0.5. We can do the same with cosine of 30 equals, gives us this, which converts to 0 0.8660, etc. There we go. And tan of 30 equals, there we go, and converts to 0 0.5774, etc. We can also calculate cosecant, secant, and cotangent on this calculator by finding the inverse of the corresponding value. So, for example, for the cosecant of 30 degrees, what we need to do is first find sine of 30, which, remember, gave us half, and then inverse it with the inverse key here. So there we go, which gives us a cosecant of 30 degrees equals 2. For secant, we use cos, so we can press cos, 30, and now we can do this all in one step by closing the bracket around the 30 and pressing the inverse key and pressing equals, which gives us that, which we know converts to 1.1547, etc. Cotangent works the same, so tan 30, close our bracket, inverse equals, and you can convert to 1.732, etc. We can also calculate arc sine, arc cos, and arc tan with this calculator. To do this, we press the shift value and then the sine, cos, or tan, so that we see we get this sine to the power of minus 1 here. Remember, that's different than having the inverse or minus 1 at the end of it, which would give us the cosecant. Now, this is useful for going from the 0.5 and finding out how many degrees were used. So if we enter 0.5 here and press enter, we see we get 30, which tells us 30 degrees were used to get that 0.5. Same thing for arc cos, we can go shift cos, and remember for this one we got 0.8660 rounded, so we go 0.8660 here equals, and we get what would round to 30 degrees. And again, we can do this with tan by pressing shift tan. There's our tan to the power of minus 1. And for this one, we got 0.5774 rounded. So we enter 0.5774 equals. And again, we see we get what would round to 30 degrees. All right. I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.